Are you flying alone? Yep. Aren't you kind of young for that? Not really. Where are your parents? In jail. Both of them? Yep. What did they do? They organized a bunch of people to peacefully demonstrate in front of the Capitol building. Oh. Are they unemployed? My mom was homeschooling me. My dad is a retired officer in the Marines. They sold food from our garden at the local farmer's market. So police arrested your parents for protesting on public property? No. FBI agents came that night to our house without a warrant and took them away. No way. Way. I heard they can do that using Bushia's Patriot Act. You mean Obama's Patriot Act? No. Bush created that. He did. But did you know Obama signed an extension to it? I doubt that. Two extensions, actually. First one just before it was about to expire on December 31, 2009. Then in May of 2011 they added a four-year extension. He probably had political pressure. These issues are too complex for a little girl to understand. Did you know Obama signed ACTA and what that would do to the internet and free speech? Look, kid, I love Obama. I don't know what ACTA is but probably no big deal. You are making crazy talk about rights. He can't do much without Congress. Obama signed N-D-A-A without Congress's help. Yeah but he said he didn't like it and would never use those powers. As president he really can't do much because the other branches limit him. They limit him? How about executive order and DRP, which is like martial law times too? MSNBC, CNN, and the White House say in DRP is just a modernization of an old martial law that has been around forever. You are reading too much into things. You are paranoid. Obama is cool. He does funny things on talk shows. He's charming. He's smart. Go to whitehouse.gov and actually read NDRP and you will see it is more than just a modernization. Now instead of just saying in time of war and in time of emergency, it includes during peacetime and non-emergency. Do you understand what that means? It means, technically, the executive branch has the powers of martial law at all times, not just during war. Obama is too cool to use those powers. He just wants the power so he can protect us. NDRP also set up czars such as Secretary of Defense, Education, Energy, Transportation, Agriculture with almost unlimited power to confiscate people and resources. I trust Obama so I don't believe you. The economy is better than ever. You are an ignorant child. You should support our president no matter what. Really? Because things are going so well? Yeah. Take for example, the stock market is up. You understand that when the value of the dollar drops, like because of printing money for one thing, price of stocks rise. Little kid, that is crazy talk. It's too complicated for normal people to understand. You should leave that kind of thought to the experts like Ben Bernanke. Ben Bernanke was appointed to the Federal Reserve by Bush in 2006. He assured Americans for some time before the housing bubble that there were no problems. His manipulation of interest rates, excessive printing of money, as well as government guarantees to banks led to the housing bubble. I also find it fascinating that his roommate at Harvard was the future CEO of Goldman Sachs. In 2009 Obama nominated Bernanke for another term as chairman of the Fed. You realize Bernanke's role in bailing out Wall Street including a huge amount of American taxpayer money that went to Goldman Sachs. You sure live in a fairy land, kid. You realize the unemployment figures at whitehouse.gov leave out some important facts and if you Google real unemployment you will see a very scary truth. Like unemployment is around 22% right now, not the 8 to 9% the White House during an election year wants you to believe. You should be thinking about shopping and makeup. Not boring adult things like politics and the economy. I'm a little bit too afraid about my future to waste my time on bubblehead trivial matters, mister. I wouldn't worry too much. You don't worry about war with Syria and Iran? Obama wants peace and is taking no options off the table. Oh, like in 2007 and 2008 when he was campaigning and he said he would bring our troops home. Exactly. 
I mean. I know he didn't bring the troops home but that is because they were still needed over there. Obama is against war. Republicans in Congress are always pushing him. Like when Congress pushed him to attack Libya? Exactly. You realize that he did that without asking for approval from Congress? Gaddafi was an evil dictator who was abusing his people. Gaddafi inspired many South Africans to fight for their liberation in the 80s. He was viewed by many in Africa as a hero. Much of the lies about his treatment of his people have been disproven. There are two sides to every story, Mr. Gaddafi became a threat to America's agenda for the use of Libya's resources so the political spin doctors went to work and Obama circumvented Congress to help the rebels in Libya. Your imagination sure is active, little girl. And yours, sir, is sadly deficient.